there is a new awesome feature in Midjourney called Describe. It lets you turn an image into prompts. So I'm going to test this new feature with these images of different textures and complexities and shapes. There are multiple different objects which would be nice to see if it can actually recreate these. In order to access this new feature, simply type in slash describe. Then it gives you an option of adding or uploading an image. So let's say we will first upload this image. It's an image of a cat wearing a coat in the rain and there is a city in the background. There are cars on the road. So let's see what it can come up with in terms of the description. So let's simply run this. Okay, so here are different a description that it came up with. So let's look at a couple of these. A cat standing in the city in the rain in the style of art groom. It actually gave a reference as well, so that's nice. Handsome, realistic, hyper detailed portrait. Contrasting lights and darks. Okay. Uh, actually, let's look at this style. Let me click on this. And it's the style of Stanley Lou. Okay. Um, this is another one. The city life of a cat's cat. Interesting. In the style of realistic and hyper detailed renderings. Cat's cat. I don't know what it means. Okay. Let me run a couple of these. So I'm going to run the first one. And potentially uh, the third one. Okay, so here are the results of our first run. And it's actually not bad at all, because if you look at these images, they are really in the style of our original image. So I'm really impressed because there is rain in it, uh, there's a, the, the cat is wearing coat, and then there is a city in the background. This is pretty good. These ones, okay, so for example, the second one, it's a normal cat, not really a character cat. Uh, but the other one looks pretty good. Well, I, was, I, I think it works. Let's try it on the Joker image. And let's see if it can actually capture the style of the image. So I think it will definitely recognize the Joker. But I'm not sure about the style and texture of the image. Okay. So here are different, um, in four different prompts that came up with. The Joker comic uh, art wallpaper in the style of Magali. But it actually is pretty good because um, it gives, although I think the style is very different, uh, it, it does give you a reference style as well. So that's pretty nice. Uh, and it actually, a lot of artists are going to be happy with it. Uh, now, okay, let's try to create an image using this. And let's look at some other descriptions. So the Joker is in the um, black and purple light in the style of light green and dark crimson precision painting okay let's try this one as well okay so this is our original image and this generation definitely missed the mark in terms of like hairstyle and facial expressions but i think these uh, these ones are pretty nice uh, especially the first one um the 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 style of the image is pretty consistent with what we had here so it seems to be working. Like you need to experiment with it a little bit, but I think uh, it's something very useful. Now there is an uh, a tool for stable diffusion based model images. So it's called Clip. I have a video on it, so watch that. But having it for Mid Journey itself is awesome. Okay, let's experiment with um, a more abstract art. So here. I have uh, this image of Eiffel Tower. Let's see what it thinks of it. Okay, so the uh, Eiffel Tower in colorful colors sprayed in the black paper in the style of uh, flowing form National Geographic photo. Um, the Eiffel Tower is colorfully drawn on the black. Eiffel Tower is uh, drawn in the paint or black background. All right, let's try a couple of these. And let's see if we can actually get a similar image or not. But this is going to be really awesome because online, sometimes you find these images or on Reddit, uh, people always complain that uh, people share the images but not the prompts. So I'm, I'm assuming uh, now they don't need the prompts. They can recreate these images using prompts from Midjourney itself. All right, I think in this case, so this is our original image. 
and here are the first generations and uh, this is with this second prompt that we tested so maybe here it really missed the mark because it's not the same style it's Eiffel Tower but the style is completely different so I think it could be like a hit and miss but if you think about this image it is really a hard one to describe so maybe that's why uh, it couldn't really come up with a better prompt okay let's look at uh, human faces and uh, I'm going to use this image as an example right it's still uh, an artistic uh, depiction so let's see what it thinks of it okay uh, so there are multiple prompts but I actually realized just one thing if you click on this these numbers one two three then it kind of gives you the, the, the remix mode and you can actually make some changes if you want so this is pretty neat actually this is awesome so let's do the first and the last one and let's see what the results look like but this is a great feature so that not only lets you generate the image with this prompt but if you want to modify the prompt you now have the ability to do that pretty good okay so here are our results uh, this, this is nice this is nice but I think uh, the, the, the color scheme is a little bit off uh, compared to what we had over there and this is a face so you can't really expect it to be a very similar face uh, but I think overall not, not too bad at all alright so the last test I'm going to do is I think it going to be uh, a very interesting one so I personally really like this image there is an image of headphones and then small colorful smoke is coming out of the earpiece so let's see what uh, type of prompts it can come up with. Okay, so if you look at it, a headphone with color smoke coming out of it in the style of a dark orange and dark black. That is awesome. So this is dark orange, dark orange and dark black, or bluish basically. Uh, headphone coming so hey, This is pretty nice. Uh, the aspect ratios are a bit weird, I think, in this case. And this is the first time I actually saw aspect ratios. So let me generate the first one and the third one. And let's look at the results. Okay, some so pretty neat results. Although like in the the first two images, actually in the fourth image as well, it put two headphones, all, but the smoke is coming out of them. So that's pretty nice. In the second set, uh, there is, well, just one uh, headphone. In each of the image although I still look uh, like the uh, style of the original image but these are actually uh, not bad at all these are pretty awesome now what do I think of the feature it's actually a pretty awesome feature I really like it this, this was just the first uh, impressions but I think this is going to be a very useful feature for a lot of people uh, people will come up with some very interesting use cases well Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.